I'm not a huge fan of diving into a freezing cold lake. So we thought we'd try sticking in a prefab uh, concrete tank underground and put a shallow well pump into the hole, insulate the tank, and then run the lines up the hill. These are heat traced lines that go in basically a six foot ditch. Uh, so we don't need insulation when it's you know below five feet. We have some insulation where it's shallower. Uh, and the pipe goes into Big O and we reseeded everything here. Lovely day in Algonquin Highlands. This is just a quick video to show what we've done with a water system. So you can see Mr. Ducky out here uh, indicates where our heated water line begins. It's about 80 feet out from the shore. And it comes underground and it goes to just underneath our boat rack. And what's happening inside our boat rack is the boat rack sitting on top of a precast concrete pump chamber and the water line is heat traced from the lake to this point it comes in here and we've got a, a priming line if we have to prime this pump with a garden hose we've only had to do that once then there's an inkbird thermostat that controls a little heater down there you can see this little heater guy and that's so that the pump chamber whenever it senses that it's dropped down to 10 celsius will fire on and run that heater to warm up the pump chamber. And the whole pump chamber is insulated uh, with about R10 insulation and it's underground. And this thing keeps its temperature pretty well even without the insulation. And then we've got um, a thermostat on the heat trace also. And it's set for kind of the same condition so that the water and the water line won't freeze. And then it's insulated uh, out into the lake. And then we have our on off valve uh, for this pipe. Um, and there's the whole water line is in a big O. That's that red. It's like a weeping tile type stuff. And then we've got our five micron filter here, horse filter that comes out of the pump. Now the pump is just a cheapo jet pump with, uh, without a diaphragm or an expansion tank. And the way it works is that if it senses a pressure drop, this little electronic device switches on the pump. So one less thing to freeze if we had an issue with this water system. Um, and then the water goes all the way up the hill to our new office, Bunky, but six feet underground. And then we have one more little piece of heat trace that goes into the cabin. I'll show so you. This that. is an old crawl space building. We didn't design it or build it, but we renovated it. Um, the big O comes up out of the ground. So it's going six feet under the ground and it comes up into the back of the cabin. And there we've got a water protect, a frost protected spigot that comes out of the back then inside the bunkie the water line comes up so it's insulated water line with a heat trace on it it comes all the way up to here and this is on a little thermostat as well plugged in there um, then we have our uv filter valve open there comes out of the top of the uv and then branches out to everything else showers kitchen sink bathroom lab and the rest of the thing and that's our system means i will never have to dive in the lake again to fix a pump that's uh, down in the water. And summer quickly turns to fall and winter. So here it is at minus 26. Lake's mostly frozen. And then we go to our pump chamber. Our equipment's all nicely snug under there, well insulated. The little wireless relay's got a bag insulation. Just a little zip lock. It's actually a bit warm to the touch from its own heat. And some fiberglass and then it runs up the hill that's nigel hi nigel go on up the hill and into the cabin 